Hi, today I want to talk about three basic elements in architecture drawing. The point, the line, and the surface. I don't know about you, but uh, when I was in my first year Art Academy of Xi'an in China, there was one course called uh, the 2D Composition. Uh, it's uh, basic lessons for all the coming uh, design course. This uh, exercise uh, trains the students to express themselves with the basic 2D elements. This is one exercise actually used by Bauhaus School. For those who don't know, Bauhaus is a German design school founded in 1919. It's one of the leaders in the early modernism uh, movement. And it's, it has a huge influence for the coming generations. So, so back to this exercise. This exercise will allow students to view the 2D the visual art as music. Because just like the, in music, uh, the visual art also have rules and the syntax. Like the reputation, the skills, contrast, and other aesthetic rules. Uh, with the basic element like the point, uh, line, and surface, just like in music with the different uh, notes. The notion of composition is important for architecture drawings, especially for quick sketches. You have to communicate your idea in a very short amount of time to express your ideas with a few abstract forms. In this point of view, it's almost like the Chinese characters or other pictogram, like uh, logos. But uh, to me, architecture drawing should uh, communicate one more information than logos. And that is one special little thing in architecture drawing called emotion. About the point in drawing, we naturally think about uh, the French Impressionism. And uh, like the French painter uh, Georges Soha, his uh, painting basically is formed by many little dots the points. Instead of uh, the traditional oil painting technique with uh, brushes. Uh, and in architecture drawing, one arch architect, uh, Le Corbusier, liked to use the point in his uh, architecture drawing. Here we can see some example. But we can see that the point is uh, suitable to represent a large and even surface like uh, concrete, the, uh, the ground, and also the vegetations like the tree leaves and it gives the building a lively vibe. Now there's a lot of painters who are great at using lines. My personal favorite is the Austrian painter Egon Schiller and his lines is incredibly dynamic yet accurate and very strong personal styles. All of his drawings are human figures, but I found his uh, uh, building drawings equally interesting because the line he used is the same quality. And uh, you can also learn from him that uh, he don't really go into the very details of the windows, the doors, but rather emphasize the essential of each building. The surface, there are some painters who are famous using the surface composition, Piet Mondrian and Kazimir Malevich. Malevich is a Russian uh, painter who uses a lot of uh, inclined uh, rectangular to create a dynamic sensation in his drawing. Malevich in front of architects, uh, one of them is Zaha Hadid. I have bought her book of her uh, painting collections and you can see clearly uh, the influence of Malevich in her architectural drawings. So in summary, the point technique is suitable for to represent a large and even uh, and smooth surface like uh, concrete or plaster uh, or the trees. And the lines is good to represent uh, classical buildings. 
for example, the Baroque buildings with a lot of curved lines, with a lot of details. And the surface composition is good to represent uh, the contemporary building, I'd say, uh, especially those with uh, the straight line volumes. And uh, also, it's good to represent the uh, large uh, glass curtain wall facade. Technique. Can we mix them all in one joint? Of course, yes. And uh, I think it's especially suitable for projects like extension or renovation of historical buildings. And uh, here, let me show you one example in Bucharest. It's the Romania Architecture Union building in Bucharest, Romania, which I introduced in my other video.